the whole shape surprised me. There are many curves in that building, and there are also two emblematic cuts. I will tell you what construction authorities said about the house. They said it's the tear or the eye of the god. I mainly see a teardrop. The eye of the god is the sun who comes all over the place. Hello, my name is George, and welcome to our home. I live in Iraglion. We decided to buy this ground because of the view. So, we are entering the main living room. This room is the room of light. You have uh, a lot of sunlight. In Crete, we are people who live with the light. Light is all over. It's very aggressive. The curve in front of the house is um, philosophically uh, the resistance of the concrete to the sun. Since the house necessarily would face this radiant sun, it should be more receptive, it should be bent by the sun's course from east to west. You'll go to the kitchen where, if you have a good cook, you can prepare something fantastic to eat because Crete has a lovely variety of very good food. The living room is in between the cantilevered volume and the volume of the base, which acts as a podium and hosts the sleeping quarters. Most of what is going on in the house, you cannot imagine that from the outside. Going up the staircase, one enters the guest room that is in contact with two open air spaces. The one is evident on the facade. It is its main cut. The other one is completely hidden from public view. It is a cut of the roof underneath which one may find an open air bath. I wouldn't advise you to jump in it, but it's very nice to uh, cool your body in the very hot nights or days of the summer, and we have a lot of them. The other part is also very interesting because at that part, you have the tear of God. And that's the view. So that's the head of Zeus, who is very kindly to us in Crete. So now for the easy part, I will take the elevator to show you the rest of the house. Hello again. So here we are entering our main bedroom. This is the master bedroom where we sleep. We have two more for the kids. So I'll show you my secret place in the house. And my secret place, it's very easy to access because you can open the trap and you just have to go downstairs. It's meant to be a place where it's quiet and I can rest. Fortunately enough, sometimes I can do that. Let me show you, last but not least, one other thing that is one of my demands that I had for this house. So this is my playground for adults. It's meant to put a car on it and to turn it around so you don't need to maneuver here. This is one of the most peculiar designs that we have tried. And I had certain doubts about not the architecture itself. I was more concerned about its relation to the city. But then I said, okay, we have to try. I think that they essentially work together. They get more alive in my eyes because of each other. That neighborhood was invigorated by this uh, playful house, and this playful house is in a sculptural dialogue with its neighbors. Mm -hmm.